WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman of the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. market update. And what we're looking at is that the Dow was up earlier on. It did pull back quite sharply to the 14-period exponential moving average, and now at the 34,800. It's trading now at 35, sorry, 34,590, and now it's trading at 34,674, trying to establish at least some kind of a base for after that peak, D fourth highest peak in the Chapman Wave methodology, high at 35, 30, 372, four sessions ago. Um, yes, it's given back some, but it's actually given back less than the two big bars going to the high of, was that Tuesday, to the high of Tuesday. So far, not bad action, not great, but it's not bad considering all the news and the uh, jobs numbers and everything that has come out. We're looking at something that's not bad. So S&P, day is young. S&P, like yesterday, the day was young. Wow, was it young. What a 550-point Dow closed down. The S&P is up 5 at 45.35, holding the nine-period exponential moving average after that requisite Chapman Wave peak D in the buy mode uh, to the upside. Now it's digesting gains. Looking at the QQQ, 1, 2, 3, there it goes. It made a low today of 360.55. It's now 362.38, up two points from the low. I like that. I think we need, I want to see just a very quiet, steady move, little stair step moves up so that the day closes way off the lows. That's all I want. And then Monday, we could start to see a little bit higher high. I, I want to see a gradual move back to the recent highs if that's going to be possible. I don't want to see breaks under key support levels over the next two days because that won't be good. IWM, IWM the Russell 2000 holding quite nicely up $1.50 at 206.84. Uh, 203 is the near-term support that it really needs to hold. Gold is very interesting because gold has pulled back $26. It's just stuck in this range. It's not breaking down. It's not breaking up. I think it can stay in this range for a while longer, just like crude oil. But crude oil uh, needs to hold and 94 over the coming week, because if it takes that out, that's going to be a big negative. So far, it's just in this big trading range, wide trading range, I should say. It's the TLT we're going to monitor. It's coming back from a big gap down today. It's trading down $1.15 and 130.94. I'm going to be due bond, bonds in a moment. Larry Pesavento, I believe, is away. I'm able to do some part of his show. I won't be able to do the very last segment, but I'll be able to do everything else. So stay tuned. Uh, Basil Chapman. Not sitting in for the uh, for the trade what you see, but for the hour of Larry Pesavento's show. I'll be back. Okay.